Welcome to another Cinematic Editor tutorial. I'm Daniel Plöger aka Dineed and today I'm going to show you how to use the Cinematic Editor on Kingdoms. If you watch this tutorial on YouTube, click add more info in the upper right corner. Choose the link Cinead on Kingdoms to download the files that are needed for the Kingdoms Cinematic Editor. Download and extract the RAW file. Drag and drop the 20 files into your Medieval 2 main installation folder. Do not copy them into any subfolder. The game is installed at C Program Files, Sega, Medieval 2 Total War by default. You need to prepare a battle replay first. To do this, play a custom battle on Kingdoms and save the replay afterwards. Where the replay is saved depends on the Kingdoms campaign which is used. In my example, I've used the Crusades. And my replay is saved in the subfolder Mods, Crusades, Replays. If you use the Britannia campaign, the replay is saved in Mods, British Isles, Replays. My replay is called Arsif. So I noticed the name and open the file Crusades Cine at render.cfg with notepad. Choose the file for your replay depending on the Kingdoms campaign that is used. Again, do you use the Britannia campaign? Choose British Isles Cine at .cfg etc. Once you have opened the Crusades Cine at edit.cfg, insert the name of your replay in the appendant line. So I type in Arsif because of my replay name. In any case, remain the .rpy behind it. This line starts with file C program files. If you have installed Medieval 2 somewhere else, you need to correct the installation path. Now save the file and close it. You can now start the file crusadescine at edit.bat. It will start the cinematic editor. After a short time of loading you will see the two windows. The view window Medieval 2 and the edit window Cineed. The complete description of the following part is described in the cinematic editor video tutorial part 1. That's why I will go through it rather quickly now with some advanced tips. When the cinematic editor has started, the camera is positioned beneath the ground. To look around hold the right mouse while the cursor is placed on the view window. Use the WASD keys to move the camera. Go forward on the timeline to minute 3 where the action should have started. Hold down shift and right click at this time frame then press the fast forward button. Press return to playback the replay until you have found an action that you want to record. Press return again to change into the pause mode. Adjust the camera position now. Now create a new camera and check the boxes Position and Focus. Insert a keyframe by pressing Insert on your keyboard. The keyframe will be placed on the red line. Move the red line with the right mouse towards the green line, which indicates the current point in time. You can now press Insert. Zoom in on the timeline using the mouse wheel. Move a few seconds onward and press Insert again to create a keyframe for the end of the animation. You can now move the position of the camera by moving the red, blue and green arrows which indicate the XYZ axis. Alternatively press Tab and use the WASD keys and the arrow keys to move the position of the camera. In any case the keyframe must be selected. Use the square bracket keys to select the previous, respectively the next keyframe. The first keyframe should have a different position than the second one now. Press return to play back the scene from the actual camera angel. You can still tweak the camera position. When you are pleased by it, you can save the camera. I have called mine Cam01. Now search for another action packed place on the battlefield and start again with a new camera. Create a new camera. Check the boxes. Insert keyframes with a few seconds distance. And move the camera then if you want. You can then press return to play back the scene and if you're happy with it, you need to restrict the rendering segment. In order to do that you need to move the start and end cordons. I'm afraid I forgot that with the first camera, Cam01. Zoom out completely in the time window by using the mouse wheel and drag and drop the black lines to the position that you want to render.
save this camera too, Cam02, and search for another spot. I have found this rush of the two armies. I'm going to make a camera zoom until the armies clash. Create a new camera once again and check the boxes at position and focus to make the camera path visible in the timeline. Insert a keyframe at the current time frame. This time I'm going to play back the battle a bit. Pause after a few seconds and insert another keyframe just where I pause. Now I will get the camera closer to the action, so that the camera moves through the strain of arrows. Use the left square bracket key to go back to the first keyframe and review the camera animation. Press space to play back the camera animation in pause mode and adjust the keyframes if you need to. Repeat this step a few times until you have a smooth camera animation. Playback, new keyframe, camera animation, replay in pause mode with the spacebar and then adjusting. Don't forget to place the render cordons at the end, the black vertical lines, and save the camera afterwards. After completing all scenes, you can save the whole of them into a camera group. This lets you render all cameras together. I call my camera group Arsif. Close the program now. To render the scenes, you need to open the Crusades Cine at render.cfg. Insert the name of the replay and in the line below type in the name of the camera group. If you can't remember its name, open the subfolder Mods Crusades Cameras and copy the name of the camera group. Insert it into the appendant line, save the file and close it. Change back into the main folder and start the file Crusades Cine at render.bat. It automatically renders the scenes now. Daniel Plöger and I hope you enjoyed this tutorial. I apologize for any wrong grammar and for my German accent. I hope you liked it anyway. I want to thank the developer of the game Medieval 2, the developer of the various mods and of course the forum totalwarcenter.net.